Christine Ferreira versus Taylor Starling. I don't know what happened. Maybe she just got anxiety or something. Because she was doing cheap. Taylor Starling landed a good right hand on Christine Faria and she fell back like onto the rope and I'm like whoa Starling might have a chance and then the second flurry uh she got knocked down and from then on something popped in her mind like I I'm done I'm done this fight I don't want to fight anymore I, fighting is a very brutal sport and it screws up with your mind so I don't know what happened there but she was done. She was completely done after that first flurry. Uh, yeah, some people just it just breaks them. Like if you if you're in a fight, you get hit in the head, the body. It just they're better than you, or there's something else is going on in your life. Your your brain just shuts down. There are moments in UFC or other sports where they black out. Like I believe GSP blacked out during the. Johnny Hendricks fight and he was going on autopilot. It happens all the time in sports. And I don't know, it just, just something happened in this one. She they she she signaled to her corner that she didn't want to fight. She was done. And then the corner was like, keep on fighting. What the hell are you doing? Don't stop. You're a fighter. Don't stop. So Taylor Starling was put in the way of danger. She was done. She was quit. In her mind, she's done. I don't want to fight anymore physically. She's okay, sort of. She got rocked there, but she was done mentally. And her corner said, no, get the hell out there. Fight for your life or die trying. And and I got to give shit to the corner woman, corner man or whatever of Starling. Because they just put her in immense danger inside of a squirt ring with... Christine Ferreira, who is a absolute killer, you shouldn't, you should be fully 100% into this fight, physically or mentally. And Starling was not mentally into that fight. And the corner man decided that you should just get the hell out there and fight. That's what you're meant to do. And you, that's a bad corner. That's an absolutely bad corner job to do. Because if your fighter is done, you throw in the towel, you stop the fight, do whatever you do to protect your fighter. That's what a corner is supposed to do, and they didn't do their job. And I gotta give them shit to that. They're just, they're probably good at their jobs, but in that instance, it's just a lapse of judgment, poor judgment, and they should have been better for it. Other than that, Christine Ferreira just had immense power and. Yeah, just faster, bigger, stronger. Those powerful punches were extremely powerful. And that's all I got to say. Just, <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm, the takeaway from this is Faria is tough, stronger than everybody else in that division. The corner did a very extremely poor job of handling their fighter when their fighter is extremely at a disadvantage with her mind being all messed up uh, mentally she was done and just they didn't do a, a damn thing about it they did the opposite of what they're supposed to do protect their fighter they put their fighter in danger instead yeah that's it just great bkfc event i i love bk bare knuckle fighting championships it's awesome and oh she's gonna talk but she's she's she, yeah overwhelmed too much Yeah, everything I said, strong, tough. Yeah, if you, some fighters just know when they're in a fight versus a much better opponent. I'm trying to think of a of another instance where this happened, but I can't think of anything. There was a huge controversy in the UFC where a fighter told his corner, "No, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. Put me out of this fight. I just throw in the towel." No, the referee, I, I quit. But no, the corner was like, keep on fighter, you, fighting, you freaking idiot. And there was a huge controversy. And Dana White let those fighter go, the corner, everything. It's just a huge controversy regarding shoot the corner, protect their fighters. An instance like that. And they, yeah, I think this is a little controversial decision for their corner not to protect their fighter. And yeah. 
Don't get me wrong, wrong. The fighters are supposed to be in there to fight. That's what you're in there for. Before the fight, you have to be 100% in there mentally and physically. And throughout the whole fight, you're supposed to be in that state of mind. But if you're not for some reason, then you shouldn't fight to begin with. Like, just give me out of this fight. I don't want to be in there. And yeah, just back corner from Starling. I'm deeply displeased with them. And that's all I got. Starling, I hope to see her fight again in the future just a bit. 100% more better mentally and physically. Or mentally. Physically, she was there. At the start of the fight, she landed a brilliant right hand. Completely rocked, knocked back Ferreira. But after that, Ferreira got back to her game plan and just finished off Starling with immense power, speed, ferociousness, and yeah. I don't know how to... I'm kind of... Um, yeah, I'm fired up from this fight because I hate cornermen if they make mistakes like that. It just pisses me off. You're there to protect the fighter. Protect them. Protect Starling. She's a national treasure and you just do that kind of shit? <clears throat> just, just pisses me off.